Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to another Millennial Movie Monday. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a millennial that likes to take your older classic movies and watch them for the very first time. I kick off every single review with a preview review, which is what I think the movie's going to be about based on pop culture. We watch it together, edit it, of course, because copyright, and then I give you my review. Did I like it? Did I not like it? Did it stand the test of times? And I give the stars, all based on personal preference, and what the hell do I know? And because I know I'm going to get questions about it, my shirt says, The Dude Abides. I always get questions about these shirts. I got in my P.O. box from... If you have not read the title or seen the thumbnail, I am watching the 1986 movie Labyrinth. If I had a dollar for every time this movie was requested for me, I would have many dollars. I do read the comments for suggestions and I feel like with this being the last Monday from Hello Beans, I think this movie might be a good fit. Now, I haven't seen this movie. My preview review could be wrong, so let's just hop right on into it. Ooh, I think it's David Bowie that's in this. But, uh, for some comments on YouTube and Instagram, Patreon, all that jazz, a lot of people told me it was like mystical and magical. Now, I saved this for before Hello Beans. I don't know if it's about witches. I don't know if it's even scary or a thriller. I just thought mystical, magical, David Bowie was always like a crazy character, you know? Really out there, really unique and creative. So I thought maybe Labyrinth would be a good segue into Hallow Beans. I think this has Davy, David, Davy. <laughs> I think this has David Bowie in it. I don't really know if anybody else is going to be in this that I should know already. So I'll keep a lookout for that. I don't even know what the premise of this movie could be about. I know Labyrinth is a maze, like the word is kind of like a maze, right? I don't know. Mystical, magical, maze. That's my guess. That's all I got for this preview review. I don't want to look up a poster so it doesn't give too much away. No more diddle dallying. Let's get right into today's Millennial Movie Monday, which is the 1986 Labyrinth. my preview review is kind of right it's like kind of music I don't know you get it though David Bowie okay who else this intro music is the most 80 thing I have heard in a hot second these little computer generated owls is this David Bowie singing too composed and performed by David Bowie got it I hate opening credits a lot less with a good soundtrack behind it. Uh. Oh, that was such a fun transition between computer owl to real owl. That's fun. And my kingdom is as great. I feel like I've missed a few chapters here, girl. Can you elaborate a little bit more? Look at that little shaggy baby. I love him. What is it with uh, mid to late 80s and early 90s movies and shows having like a very saxy intro song, you know? A lot of heavy sax used in the mid to late 80s. We were worried about I you. I can't do anything right, can I? It's a little dramatic, girlfriend. Okay, so she's big into theater and performing arts. Practically broke down the door. <sighs> Okay, she's obnoxious. What do you want? You want a story? Huh? Or maybe just a nice sister. Maybe just somebody to be nice. And he wanted everything for himself, and the young girl was practically a slave. What? Ones for help. Ooh! What is this? Oh my god, is this like naked gremlins? I wish the goblins would come and take you away right now. That's not hard. <laughs> no, that's not hard. I wish the goblins would come and take you away. Oh, you got it out. Good. They got him that quick? Man, goblins work fast. Does it look like he's in his crib, girl? I know it's dark in there. You can still see. <laughs> Okay, maybe there is something still in the crib. Oh! Oh, there was a big one! Oh my god, okay. Oh my god, there's so many and there's every- They're everywhere. Um, this is giving me big gremlin vibes. Who 
Whose shadow is that? Whose shadow is that? Is that David Bowie? That's David Bowie. What is that hair? Why do I love his voice so much? Wee! Look at that! Didn't they have that in an infomercial in the early 90s? You're about to be mesmerized. It's here. It's wild. It's sweeping the nation. It's Bushigi! No, thank you. I want the crystal back, please. Oh, I was right about the maze part. Doesn't look that hard. Girl, who are you trying to lie to? Because it ain't me. <gasps> Fairies! Uh, he's killing them? Let me. <laughs> what did you expect fairies to do? Be nice. Okay, that little critter freaks me out. Is it wet in there or is it just sparkly? Because it kind of looks wet. I think it's supposed to be sparkles. You'll never get out again. That's your opinion. Well, it's a lot better than yours. <laughs> He's so sassy. Are those googly eyes on the wall? <gasps> I was right! Oh, I wish I wasn't right though. That's, I hate that. I want it to be cute. Oh, me? Nah, I'm just a worm. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. He's my favorite character so far. Whoa, there's no way through. Things are not always what they seem in this place. Sh Shut, Shut the people. hell up and walk through the brick wall. Trust the worm. If she'd have kept on going down that way, she'd have gone straight to that castle. So was he trying to help or hinder? Because I feel like he did the other. Oh my god. I hope the, the person who is that baby now got therapy for what he saw here. Because can you imagine how traumatizing that was? This is the song! You do. Remind me of the babe. I've heard this song before. I didn't know it was in this movie though. Oh hell yes! Turn it into a musical. We love a good tent. Oh, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. I didn't think she was smart, but good for her. Oh no. Well, I thought she was smart. Okay, this, so this is just gonna keep happening to her. Got it. I love this. What a fun music video this is. Jump, magic, jump, jump, magic, jump. We throwing that baby kind of high! We throwing that baby kind of high! <laughs> one of them leads to the castle at the center of the labyrinth, and the other one leads to... Ba -ba -ba -boom. Certain death! Ah, I love those two options. Get your brother back, or die. Wait a minute. This is, is way right? over my... I don't know. I've never understood it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. And they're in it. I didn't get it, and they're in it. Great. Stop it! What do you mean, hell? <laughs> Since I'm pointed that way, I guess I'll go down. She chose down! Why would you ever choose down? That was a dumb choice. No one chooses down. In trouble as soon as I met you. So I've come to give you a hand. <laughs> or lead her back to the beginning. This is an oubliette. Labyrinth's full of them. Oogliette? Is that what we're saying? Oogliette? But it gets a lot worse from here on in. Thanks for the pep talk, buddy. Well, can't be right all the time, can we? Ah, he opened it the wrong way. Now I see. Make up your own rules. Choose your own adventure game. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, shut up. I'm sorry. Just doing my job. Well, you don't have to do it to us. <laughs> they have one job. Let them do it. Are his leggings supposed to be snake print? That's fun. Oh, so now we got like a giant drill coming. Find a hole in the wall. Well, you made it. That's good. Oh my god, it was two people in the back pushing it. Or like bicycling it. That's so funny. Let me put it this way. What choice have you got? Convincing argument. Said I'd take you as far as I could go. You little cheat. I mean, this, it looks beautiful here. There's plants and everything. Oh, a young girl. Woo, woo, woo. This reminds me of the never ending story. Hey! Okay? Okay! Alright. Alright, okay! Alright, okay! Alright, okay. Right. Okay. Right. okay, what's that Black Eyed Peas song? 
Gracias, señorita. Yeah, cool. see, you shouldn't have been a douche nugget. You could have gotten a bracelet and a ring. <laughs> and that's why you don't have any friends. <laughs> what are those things on the stick? Why are they carrying neck and mole rats on a stick? <laughs> Who's helping supply her these rocks? Hi, friend. He's having a big day. Let him, he needs to throw a fit for a little bit. Oh, I would, I would not touch it. This is like Chewbacca meets a never ending story. Where did they come from? Hmm. Okay, so things just disappear and reappear at will. What? There's no good after him. He is definitely Don't home. talk with you. <laughs> you know what? With how this functions, this would be an amazing, like, PlayStation game. Like, it, this would just be a great game. I don't know if Labyrinth has it as a game, but a choose-your-own-adventure game is something different behind every door would be so much fun. What is that face? Oh, it's different rocks that make a face. That's cool. Warnings. <laughs> I mean, listen, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Turn you to stone or something? I won't do nothing to harm her. Oh, come, 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 hog brain. I'm surprised at you, Lucy. Did he just call him hog brain? She said we was bosom companions. Bosom companions? Stop it. Bog of eternal stench before you can... Uh, David Bowie's leggings are a little too tight to be having these close-up shots with his crotch in it. I'll turn you into a prince. You will? Prince of the land of stench. <laughs> <laughs> that was really dumb, but I really liked it. What the hell are we doing right now? No! Why did that happen? This scene makes me uncomfortable. They're just rearranging their body parts to make different animals. So now we're just decapitating these animals and throwing their heads away and running away. Is this what it's like to do drugs? Okay, with that rope falling down the same time he said, Lady, you want to take your head off, don't you? I thought... I thought he meant, like, I was wrong. Is that, is that river making burp and fart noises? <laughs> That's just an asshole. That's literally an asshole with, with liquid shit coming out of it. What do y'all have me watching right now? Oh no! Oh! Oh my god! Okay, whoa. I thought they were gonna go right into the river. Ow. Now don't touch the stinky bits because you'll stink forever. Stop it, you stink forever. I just said that. <laughs> oh, you're joking. But I live by my sense of smell. Well, that's real messed up. <laughs> you know, she could cross the bridge while they're in the middle of their tomfoolery. I just simply don't understand why this scene is taking so long. Brother. <laughs> well, that's that big old thing, I can't tell his name Pluto or Ludo, I don't know. That guy got a friend and a brother all in one day. What a big day for him. May we have your permission? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Mother Sir. My lady. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Oh, don't get your stinky splashes on you. Oh, well now you really... You really messed up, girl. His howls summon rocks? Well, now I know how she got those rocks earlier. When she was throwing them at the naked mole rat. Now hold on, those are coming out of the stink swamp. You step on those, the bottom of your shoes will stink forever. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't laugh at a good fart noise, you know? Oh, so, so David Bowie is always watching, what's his name? Uh, Jareth? Jared? The Goblin King. He's always watching. Now, how long is this in the human world? You know, her parents home from day night and find out that both their kids are missing. Both? Both their kids are missing? This is very Snow White of you. Damn you, Jared. 
And damn me. Is his name Jared? Is the Goblin King's name Jared? Wow. Well, this is fun. Listen, is that a wig on David Bowie? I really hope so. And I don't know why, but that wig on him makes him look like he smells like cat pee. <laughs> Does that make sense? Well, look here. Mm -hmm. A teddy bear? Oh, it's Lancelot from her bedroom. Okay. I dreamed it all, Lancelot. Okay, then go find your brother. If this is a dream, go look in the crib for your brother. Boo, you remember Betsy Boo, don't Why does she keep giving her all these toys? Mm -hmm. Is she like a hoarder? Okay, so we were fighting a hoarder is what we were doing. I love that. Okay, great. We must go quietly. What about that big old door makes you think you're gonna go in quietly? I smell trouble. This whole thing has been trouble, girlfriend. What do you mean you're just now smelling it? Oh, it's a big gate monster. Okay, well that's really cool. Oh my god, it's a little goblin in a big suit. I don't know why I thought it'd be like a giant goblin. So now, in theory, we should be able to just walk through the town. I know it's not going to be that easy, but in theory it should be. Are they riding little dragons? Okay, I love that he's riding like a little dog. I think that's so freaking cute. You mean to tell me they didn't see that big old monster standing right there? Those Ludo gonna get in! Yeah, he just opens the wall. What kind of dumb question is that? All right then, throw down your weapons and I'll see that you're well treated. <laughs> Reverse psychology, maybe? Worth a shot at this point. Why is this the most ridiculous thing I've seen in a hot second? Did he not realize how powerful the beings on the outskirts are? I mean, clearly he didn't. <laughs> A little kind of thick. He kind of kind of donk. Good for him. A girl, don't run up them stairs that fast. You're going to be out of breath. Okay, we got stairs going every which way. Wow! How did they do this? That's fun. Okay, how do we get to the kid? This is so trippy. So what direction would you go if you were to jump off the edge of any of those edges? Which way would you fall? Oh, that was way longer of a drop than I thought it was. Okay, well. Oh, it's falling apart. Sarah, be well. Oh, you had a costume change. I have been. Marvelous. No. You got it, girl. You just read it. You just read it in the book when you were with the hoarder. All right. Oh, he's gone. The crystal's gone. Where's your brother? Okay, the computer-generated owl was a little much, but all right. Is the brother back? She's back home, but is the brother? Oh, him's exhausted. I'm very sleepy. Your parents have been gone forever. Goodbye, oh my god, I simply would have yelled. I simply would have shouted. They're all there! What a party! Even Bird Hat Man is there. Now, how are you going to explain this when your dad walks in? But the Goblin King is always watching. But the power, what power? Voodoo, hoodoo, do. Robbie of the babe. Well, I never knew where that song came from. I thought it was just one of David's... His name was Jareth. I really did not understand the name they were giving him. Let's talk about it. Okay, let me, okay. How do I sum up my thoughts on this? It almost had the humor of Monty Python and the Holy Grail with the practical effects and costuming of the never ending story. Does that sum it up accurately for you? Because that's kind of what it gave me. It was like sometimes, so Frank Oz was Kermit the Frog, right? He's done a lot of voices. It gave me Monty Python humor in like repeating and like thing, you know, the way you word things has different meanings. It gave me that kind of humor, 
but with the never ending story vibes with the characters, the costume, the voices. God, some of these things were creepy. I hated Sarah's character for the majority of the movie. She just kind of got on my nerves at the beginning. It is what it is. Here's my question. I feel like I need to regard this film in the same way that I regard Never Ending Story. It is a classic for a reason. I mean, David Bowie, hell, you can't go wrong with him. It's just not for me personally. I'm glad I watched it, so now I get the I get the jokes now. And like, there was a sound on TikTok not too long ago that was like, I have you a gift. What is it? A crystal, nothing more, nothing less. Like, I now know this from this movie. I didn't know where that sound came from. So, so now, I get it now. I understand. I can say that I've watched it. I can mark it off my posters. I don't think I'm gonna be re-watching this though. Glad I've seen it so I have the context. Not a personal favorite. I feel like this was almost, like David Bowie wanted a movie for his CD. Like he wanted one continuous music video and I feel like this is it. Does that make sense? I don't know. Ah, let the hate comments roll in for that. Just not my thing personally at 27 years old. Had I seen this at a younger age, kind of like Never Ending Story, would I have a different reaction to it? Yeah, probably. I've finally seen another one of the classics that's been highly requested here on the channel. It was a good time, just not a personal favorite. Not something that I personally would rewatch. But I finally saw this classic, highly requested classic, and I'm glad I finally got to it. Now, I'm not trying to just sweep this under the rug and move on but I kinda am because the very next upload kicks off the Hello Beans season. So if you wanna relive last year's, I'll link the playlist down below where you can head over to the channel under playlist, it'll say Hello Beans. Anyways, but Friday is October 1st. I'm ready for spoopy season, spooky season, Hello Beans season, and I will see you right back here. Be sure to like, subscribe, links down below. Oh, to my social media, if you wanna be my friend outside of the youtube -iverse. and I'll see you right back here on Friday for the beginning of Hello beans. Look, okay, I see them.